Ola, please respond the video series where I answer your question quick and easy in a video. Today's question. So Ola, which sounds better, the Seymour Duncan Dimebucker or the Bill Lawrence XL500? Dimebag was known for playing the Bill Lawrence L500 XL pickup during the 90s and up to the point where he designed the Dimebucker together with Seymour Duncan. However, it's not as easy as that because there's a couple of different variations of the Bill Lawrence L500 XL pickup. The different variations is the Bill and Becky L500 XL, the Bill Lawrence USA 500 XL, and also the OBL L500 XL. I'm not gonna go into why these variations exist. It's basically because of sold rights or whatever. Now, which variation did Dimebag use back in the day? It's been widely discussed on the internet, even from you know the 90s, which variation that Dimebag was using in his guitars. Some are saying Bill Lawrence USA, some are saying Bill and Becky, so on and so forth. A couple of years back when I went to visit Dimebag's house, I got to speak with Dimebag's guitar tech, Grady, and I asked him this question. Which of the variations did he use before he started playing and using the Seymour Duncan Dimebucker? And Grady said that Dimebag was basically using all of them depending on what was available or close to him. So there isn't any variation that Dimebag liked or played more than the other, he used all of them. So does the Bill Lawrence 500 XL sound better than the Seymour Duncan Dimebucker? I made this today using three different guitars. One guitar has the Seymour Duncan Dimebucker in it and the other two has the Bill Lawrence USA L500 XL and the OBL 500 XL. Let's listen. So there you go. There's absolutely a difference in between the pickups, but it also might be a difference in between the guitars as well. The smallest differences like, you know, length from saddle to pickup to blade, you know, and the pickup can be a slight, slight bit angled. All those small variations will also affect the tone. So keep that in mind when you decide which one you like the most. The Dimebacker obviously has way more output than the other ones. If that is a good or a bad thing, uh, I don't know. I personally prefer the Bill Lawrence USA L500 XL in my Dimebolt guitar. I think it just sounds the best, to be honest. But at the same time, it might be because of the combination of, you know, the, the woodwork and the building aspect of the guitar, how the guitar was built, basically. But there's so many small things that comes in to the equation of the sound right there. In a mix, how much do they differ? Does it matter? I mean, that's really subjective. Which one did you like the most? Also, if you have a question for please respond, put the question in the comment section of this video and I might answer you in the next video. How about that? Thank you.